Hi Virgo, welcome back to my <laughs> channel. I keep saying that, I don't mean to say that. Welcome back to Patreon, okay? This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Okay, so let's see what the important messages are for you, Virgo. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's see what the messages are here. What are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node? Thank you. So let's see, okay. Wow, the two of cups just came flying out of the deck. Okay, so I'm getting you are really in love with somebody, Virgo. You're very eager to see them. They excite you. Okay, I'm getting I'm I'm getting like I'm getting you like jumping in somebody's arms, somebody picking you up. Okay, I'm getting you like hi. You're like you're excited to see somebody. I'm getting like love at first sight here. Cause the way that the, the way that card just jumped out, it's like wow. Somebody is like, I'm getting love at first sight. Okay, yeah, we have the six of pentacles. Okay, so it could be another earth sign or somebody with these earthly qualities. Equal give and take from rags to riches is what I'm getting. Yeah, the, ooh, the king of pentacles, big daddy. That's what it is. Is this your, is this your sugar daddy? Okay, so maybe you like older men, but I'm getting, I'm getting this person is very well off. They're a provider. They're going to take care of you. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting you like jumping in somebody's arms. It could be a Capricorn or maybe like somebody with, you know, with these qualities here, a lot of earth energy, somebody who's very, very well off, very fruitful, very business minded, a little bit serious, but they take good care of you. They provide for you. They give you whatever you need, whatever you want, whatever you ask for is yours. Okay. I'm getting somebody, somebody just gives you whatever you want, like whatever you want, Virgo here, just this, this could be your actual father. Like maybe this is your actual dad. Like, thank you, dad. So maybe somebody, I'm getting like somebody is giving you a, an, an allowance. Okay, here, just buy whatever you want, buy what you need. But I'm getting with this card, it's like, this is your lover. This is, you're, you got a sugar daddy. <laughs> okay. I'm getting, he's like so serious, but he really loves you like his baby or something. I'm getting, this could be your actual father, but this could be your business too. Maybe you're making a business deal with somebody. I'm getting, you're like shaking hands with this person. This could be a loan from the bank too. All right, let's see. We have the strength card. Ooh. Okay, so it could be an older Leo, maybe. Somebody who's very romantic. Somebody who's romancing you and buying you things, spoiling you, taking you shopping, just giving you whatever you want. Oh, I, I like this verb. Okay, let's see. We have the world card. Okay, but it has to, it's, it's very short-lived. Maybe it's not going to last very long. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting... You love this person, but they resist you. That's what I'm getting. They don't, they don't acknowledge you. So I'm getting you're very eager about them, but they don't feel the same way about you. They're not in love with you, but maybe they just give you money or they just buy you things. But I'm getting you actually love this person. Hmm. But I'm getting you can't really show your love because they don't. Maybe they, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, the chariot. Yeah. I'm getting like somebody's very rigid, but I'm I'm getting you you're in love with them, Virgo. You really you like them a lot, or you maybe you just love your job a lot. You you know you like really like your job. Maybe you drive for a living. It's very lucrative. Your job is you make a it's a very high paying salary or something like that. But I'm I'm getting like you're going from the Six of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Like wow, that is a huge jump. That's like from rags to riches, literally. That's literally what this is. It's like you're going from making like six hundred bucks a month to making like 10 grand a month like immediately okay so i'm so i'm getting like what i'm this could be like a loan from the bank too the, the bank is saying yes the money is yours you got you got approved yeah we got seven of wands here hmm interesting you may have to set let, let's see what that is i'm not sure why the seven of wands let's see seven of wands now, with this card, too, why they will be resisting you, they could be involved with somebody. They could be married because the king of pentacles is a husband. He's a provider. He usually has a family or children to provide for, but he has plenty of money to go around to spoil you. But with the six of pentacles, it can mean, um, you know, something that's imbalanced. It's not reciprocity. He does not. Because so, I'm getting you on this side. You give more three of pentacles, and he doesn't really give a much of the emotional stuff. He just kind of gives you practical things and maybe you want love you want romance you want that leo energy you know you want somebody to you know romance you you want like you know water more water or something okay let's see like more emotion a more emotional connection i'm getting this person does not want to get emotionally involved they don't want to show their feelings to you i'm getting that bothers you 
Okay, because we have strength here. It's like, oh, why won't you show? Why won't you open up to me? Why are you being so rigid? I'm getting that's just you know, Capricorn. They're just that's just the way they are. Okay, let's see. What's the two of cups? Yeah, they have a business deal here, a contract. So you're, you may have to sign some paperwork, which is good. I'm getting a loan or maybe student loans or maybe a, a full scholarship, a full ride. Yeah, we have the two of swords. Yeah, you have to decide what you want to do. Do you really want to do this? So somebody could be asking you, hey, do you want to be my sugar baby? You're like, I don't know. You're kind of rigid. I, I don't know. Because I'm, I'm getting like you want like, I mean, because you're an earth sign too, Virgo. So maybe somebody is like a little over eager to, maybe somebody's eager to see you or to love you. And you're like, I don't want to get involved emotionally. But I feel like this is you, Virgo. I feel like you are the two of cups here. I don't know why. I'm getting this. I'm getting this is someone older than you or someone else, a king of pentacles. Okay, let's see. I'm also getting two. It's like somebody has a lot more money than what they're showing you they have. I'm getting somebody is like loaded. Without, you don't even know that. Somebody has a lot of money. They're very well off, but they show you very, they, they give you like chump change is what I'm say, seeing. So maybe maybe you should hold off. You should resist. You should you should end this because I'm getting this person. They don't appreciate you. They don't appreciate the love that you give. They kind of ignore it or take it or take it or take it for granted. Is what I'm seeing. Okay, what's the King of Pentacles doing? Yeah, he's this person is like mean. Is what I'm. Yeah, he's very mean, very serious, like like too intellectual, too father like. This could be your father though. So maybe it could be your dad, but I, I, the two of cups is like love. It's like, you know, being in love with someone. Maybe you like, maybe you like older men who are like rigid and stubborn and boring like this, but I don't, I don't think so. I'm getting like, you want something, you want that Leo energy. I'm getting, this person is maybe not Virgo. I'm not, I don't know. I'm getting this person is taking advantage of you. They're taking you for granted. I'm getting, they're taking your love for granted too. I'm getting, you should pull back your love. I'm, I'm, I don't get, I'm getting this person loves you. Yeah, the three of swords and the two of wands. Yeah, they could be waiting on somebody else. Maybe maybe they are waiting on a Leo to come back to them or they're waiting on a Leo to choose them so they ignore you. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting Virgo. Don't subject yourself to that. I'm getting like find somebody who loves you or you know. Cuz I'm getting this I'm getting this person is like they're really mean to you. They they're very rigid, very egotistical. Somebody does not show their feelings to you at all. No matter how much love you show them, this person is not going to love you in return. I'm getting, don't do that to yourself, Virg. I'm, I'm getting it's time to end this relationship or whatever this is with this person. It could be a sugar daddy. It's, that's, let that go. Because I'm getting this person, they don't appreciate you, just period. Who cares how old they are? Like, that doesn't mean anything. All right, it's not okay to break your heart just because they're old and boring. Okay, what's the word after the world card? Yeah, the four of cups. Yeah, this, this person... They are not interested is what I'm getting. They, they have no interest in you in that way. But they, they may help you out with money here or something. And then, But I'm getting pulled back your emotions because I'm getting they don't feel the same way about you. What's the four of cups? I'm getting, they, I'm getting, I'm getting they give you very little attention or if any at all. I'm getting your, they're, I'm getting they're boring. They're just, they're just boring. They, they bore you. There's no excitement or, or like romance or anything. Yeah, the, the justice card. Yeah, so somebody could be avoiding you because they're married. Maybe that's why. But I'm getting you're starting to fall in love with like your sugar daddy or whoever the hell this is. But I'm getting somebody who's a lot older than you like or you're a lot older than this person. Yeah, this person may ask you to be in a relationship, but you're like, no, you bore me. Like, I don't know. Thank you. Okay, what's the justice card? But I'm getting they can help you out. They have a lot of money, though. They can, like, help you with maybe your business or something that you like, something that's contractual is what I'm getting here. Okay, what's the justice card? But they may be in, a, they may be married. And they, they give you, like, you know, they may be like a millionaire. They give you, like, 200 bucks or something or 20 bucks like somebody's really they're really like jipping you here okay but i'm getting that's okay you're about to move up anyways yeah the two yeah we have the the star card and the two of pentacles yeah it's okay your money's about to increase virgo don't worry about that you don't need their money you don't need their help you don't need them they're they're just flat out mean to you for like i feel like it's for no reason at all just just because they want to be mean they can i'm getting somebody may even enjoy hurting you 
because maybe they're hurt. Like somebody enjoys like hurting your feelings. I'm, this this person is an asshole. I would not talk to them anymore. Like this is not. This is bullshit. Okay, what is the uh, what is the chariot? Yeah, the devil card. I'm getting a Capricorn that's old and boring and mean. Shit. Like fuck all that. I'm getting somebody too. They don't want to take their mask off because I'm getting somebody. This is like under here. This this is who they are under here. They're really like a monster, a devil. Very manipulative. They suck your energy dry. So somebody could be playing. Maybe you're a lot, you're very young and somebody's like playing on your energy, sucking like their energy vampire underneath it all. Somebody's a monster. Somebody's a monster underneath it all. Like really a monster. I'm getting somebody is like, like a beast. If we have the emperor yet, I would Virgo, get out of there. This person does not love you. They are mean. They are they are a monster. They are evil. I'm getting somebody enjoys hurting your feelings. Or if you get involved with this person, they, they're, they're like, they're not what they say they are. They're, they're not, that's not who they are. Yeah, I'm getting follow your intuition. Maybe, um, so maybe you should talk to um, an Aries or some, I'm getting Aries or Scorpio. You should talk to them. Because if you're thinking about talking to this person, this earth energy, they are, they are really like, an asshole underneath all this this exterior that's not who they really are they're really an asshole i'm getting somebody who's going to use you or and abuse you and hurt and break your heart don't do it it, it could be someone who's very intellectual as well but it's like someone they're telling you Okay, so we have, I just saw low power mode. So I'm getting this person too. They don't have a lot of energy. Maybe they can't please you in bed either. Maybe they're like a boring ass lover too. So I'm getting like you're being guided towards a Scorpio or a uh, Aries. At, maybe ask them for help or something with whatever this is. This is what your intuition is saying. Do not, this person, do, do not talk to them anymore. They do not have good intentions for you. They are a devil underneath that they they seem to be very you know generous but they're not yeah this is your this is your this is your clarity yeah somebody's playing mind games with you they don't they do not have good intentions for you virgo period but they come off very romantic they come off very flirty with you but they're not like that in real life they are this person is like do don't do it okay i want to put a love card on here Okay, so those are your guys saying, don't do it. Don't talk to this person. They're not who they say they are. All right, let's see. Okay, wow. Okay, that's a good, that's good to know because I'm actually a Virgo and Vedic. So that's really good to know. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, if we have free yourself. Yeah, don't, this person is a no. Absolutely not. If they are, if they are a Capricorn or Virgo, don't do it. They may be very well off, but they are not, No. Okay, so I'm getting let this person go. They are deceiving you. Or they may be, they may, you may think that they're well, you may think that they are well, well off, but they're not. They're actually very broke. They may be coming, to, they may be looking at you like a meal ticket. They don't have any money is what I'm getting. This person is broke. Yeah, we have free yourself. They're not as well off as you think they are, Virgo. Okay. I'm getting their, their, I'm getting their bitchy too. They're an asshole. So it could be, a, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Sun. But I'm getting their a combination of like air and earth or something. All right. Let's see. It says free yourself though from this person. Do not talk to them. Do not respond to them. They don't. Yeah, religious factors. They don't want what you want. Yeah, let go of this person. Okay, so this I'm sorry, Virgo. If this if you were if you like this person, I would I wouldn't I don't believe you should talk to them anymore. I don't think they want the same things that you want in life. Yeah, trust. I wouldn't Okay, so maybe I'm not sure why this is coming up in here. And then we we have stay optimistic though. So maybe about the maybe about the Scorpio or the Aries, maybe you should stay optimistic about that. Maybe you should try and, you know, if you if this is your father, maybe ask your father, ask, ask an Aries or a Scorpio to help you instead. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure what the hell this is, but I'm getting this person is a don't do it with this person. 
All right, do not sleep with them either. They are they do not have good intentions for you. With the devil card, they could be infected or infectious down there too. Just a forewarning, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.